Remember my trick. You only have to memorize the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of one times nine? Mrs. Wonderwan can't help playing tricks on her friends. <laughs> when she comes across Mr. Slimy Nine, she casts a spell and changes him into Slimy Nine Clown. One times nine is nine. Remember my trick. You only have to memorize the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of two times nine? When two squeaks meets her friend Slimy Nine, she is delighted to have a chat. But the two friends are petrified. When the hook of a fishing rod catches Slimy Nine in his neck. And worst of all, at the end of the fishing rod, is a horrible piranha. <laughs> the fishing rod is in the shape of a one and the fish is in the shape of an eight. Two times nine is eighteen. Remember my trick. You only have to memorize the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of three times nine? Three consign is asthmatic <coughs> and hates it when slimy iron cleans everything from top to bottom. A large cloud of dust <coughs> makes him sneeze. <coughs> he sneezes so hard that he blows out a spring in the shape of a two. <coughs> which flies through the air and breaks the rungs of the ladder. Slimy Nine loses his balance and falls off the ladder onto the ground in the shape of a seven. Three times nine is 27. Remember my trick. You only have to memorize the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of four times nine? When Vamp Four sees Slimy Nine, he really wants to bite him. But Slimy Nine whistles to get the help of his friend the caterpillar. The caterpillar, which is in the shape of a three, pulls out a clove of garlic in the shape of a six. Oh no, garlic. Like all vampires, Vamp 4 hates garlic. Four times nine is 36. Remember my trick. You only have to memorize the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of five times nine? When Flaming Five meets Slimy Nine at dinner time, the meal is right there. He hurries to breathe out a beautiful flame to light the barbecue in the shape of a four that Mrs. Flaming Five has prepared. Dinner's ready. Five times nine is 45. Remember my trick. You only have to memorize the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of six times nine? When Scorpy Six meets Slimy Nine, he wants to sting him with his tail. But Slimy Nine is quicker and hides under the ground. Scorpy Six doesn't give up though and tries to reach him at the end of his tunnel but he comes out with something hanging off his tail. It is a cow's skull in the shape of a five. 
He is very disappointed and gets rid of it behind the cactus in the shape of a four. Six times nine is fifty-four. Remember my trick. You only have to memorise the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of? Seven times nine. It's tea time. Mummy Ram Seven comes to give a cup of tea to her friend Slimy Nine. But she trips and breaks her teapot. Hearing the noise, Slimy Nine appears. And goes to search in his burrow. He comes back with a very dusty teapot. He gives it a rub to make it clean. But what a surprise! It isn't a teapot, it's an old magic lamp in the shape of a six. And from it springs a genie in the shape of a three. <laughs> Seven times nine is sixty-three. Remember my trick. You only have to memorise the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of? Eight times nine. When Spooky ate the ghost, see Slimy Nine, he rushes to give him a fright. Slimy Nine jumps and bumps into a set of armour in the shape of a seven, which loses an arm in the shape of a two. Eight times nine is seventy-two. What's the story of nine times nine? Mr. Slimy Nine and Mrs. Slimy Nine have just got up. And it's another lovely day. But Mrs. Frog invites herself to breakfast. Mr. Slimy Nine and Mrs. Slimy Nine are quickly swallowed. The frog is in the shape of an eight and its long tongue in the shape of a one. Nine times nine is eighty-one. What's the story of nine times ten? When Slimy Nine meets the potion Magi Ten, it makes him very, very hungry. He dives headfirst into the cauldron and comes out feeling very full. He gives an enormous magic burp and blows a bubble in the shape of a zero. Wow. Nine times ten is ninety. Wow.